Set up ExpressVPN on Kodi for Windows. This tutorial will teach you how to set up and watch Kodi using ExpressVPN on Windows. Part 1. From your desktop, launch the ExpressVPN app for Windows. If you haven't installed the app yet, see the instructions on installing ExpressVPN on Windows below. Contents, download the app get your activation code install the app set up ExpressVPN connect to a VPN server location disconnect from a VPN server location choose a different VPN server location switch to a different VPN protocol use the VPN speed test use the ExpressVPN browser extension uninstall the app 1. Download ExpressVPN app. Open the welcome email you received when you signed up for ExpressVPN. Click the link in the email. If you can't find the link, log into your ExpressVPN account. Once you've clicked the link in the welcome email or logged into the website, click on Set up ExpressVPN on the active subscriptions page. This will take you to the downloads page. Click on the Windows section, then click on the download button for Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 to start downloading your app. Do not close the window. You will need it for the next step. 2. Get your activation code. In order to use ExpressVPN on your Windows computer, you will need your activation code. Let's copy it to your clipboard. To copy your activation code to the clipboard, click the copy code icon in the top right corner of the box containing the code. You will be asked to provide it later. 3. Install ExpressVPN app. Locate and double click on the download file on your computer. The setup process will begin with this welcome screen. Click install. A pop-up dialog may ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Please wait while the app is being installed on your PC. During installation, you may be asked to close any running instances of ExpressVPN, click OK to close running instances of ExpressVPN and proceed with the installation. You will also need to install the ExpressVPN tap driver as part of the app installation process. When you see Windows Security screen for ExpressVPN network adapters, click Install. You will be notified when the installation process has successfully completed. The app will automatically launch when installation is complete. Click Close to exit the setup wizard and launch ExpressVPN. You can also launch ExpressVPN by locating the ExpressVPN shortcut on your desktop. Double-click the app icon to launch ExpressVPN. 4. Set up ExpressVPN. On the ExpressVPN setup screen, paste your activation code. This is the code you found earlier. You can paste it by pressing Ctrl plus V, or right-clicking the rectangular field and clicking Paste. Then click OK. You can also choose to anonymously share analytics about your VPN connections to help ExpressVPN optimize your service. Check or uncheck the box as you wish. ExpressVPN does not collect your private data and anonymizes it before it reaches ExpressVPN servers. When the activation is complete, you will see a success, screen. Click start using the app. Congratulations. You are now ready to access ExpressVPN's vast network of server locations. 5. Connect to a VPN server location. To connect to a VPN server location, click the on button. By default, ExpressVPN will suggest the location that provides the most optimal experience for you, called smart location. Once you see the VPN is on message on the app screen, you can begin surfing with freedom and security. Note, a single ExpressVPN subscription can be used simultaneously on three devices, regardless of platform. If you try to use more than three devices simultaneously on one subscription, you will see the below screen, 5. Disconnect from the VPN server location. To disconnect from the VPN server location, click the on button while the VPN is on. You will know you are disconnected when you see the VPN is off message. 6. Choose a different VPN server location. To choose a different VPN server location, click on choose location to access the list of VPN locations. To connect to a server location, click on it, then click the on button. Alternatively, you can connect by double clicking the location. The list of VPN locations features three tabs, Recommended, All, and Favorites. The Recommended tab shows you Express's top picks for you to connect to. The All tab lists the VPN server locations by region. You can expand and collapse the lists by tapping on the triangular arrowheads. The Favorites tab has two sections. Recently Connected shows the three most recent locations you connected to. Favorites shows the locations you have saved as a favorite by clicking the star icon next to the location name. You can also search for your desired server location by using the search bar. To launch the search bar, press Ctrl plus F inside the search bar, type the name of your desired server location and then double-click the server location in the search results to connect to it. After disconnecting from a server location you selected, you can return to your smart location, the location recommended for the smoothest experience, by clicking Smart Location. 7. Switch to a different VPN protocol. VPN protocols are the methods by which your device connects to a VPN server. Switching to a different protocol can help you achieve faster connection speeds. To switch to a different protocol, click on the hamburger menu, then click Options. Make sure you're not connected to the VPN when doing this. In the Protocol tab, select the protocol you want to use, then click OK. 8. Use the VPN speed test. To use the VPN speed test, you must be disconnected from the VPN. Open up ExpressVPN on your Windows computer. On the home screen, click the ellipses, then click Speed Test. On the Speed Test screen, click Run Test. The test will take a few minutes to run. Please be patient. It's worth the wait. If you don't want to wait for the test to finish, you can stop it by clicking Stop Test. How to interpret your speed test results. The speed test measures latency and download speed, then combines these measurements into the speed index. 
you can sort your speed test results by clicking on the column labels. Latency, latency measures the amount of time it takes for data to move from your computer to the VPN server location. Latency is measured in milliseconds. The lower the latency, the better. Generally speaking, the farther away the server location is, the higher the latency will be. Download speed, download speed measures how much data was transferred per second. Download speed is measured in kilobits per second. The higher the download speed, the better. Speed index combines the latency and download speed results. The higher the speed index, the better. The speed index is the most useful metric of these three. How to use your speed test results. The location with the highest speed index is the best for general web browsing. If you're trying to access websites or content from a specific country, then choose the server location with the highest speed index in that country. For example, if you want to access US content, then you'll want to connect to the server location in the USA with the highest speed index. In the screenshot below, that would be USA, New York. The app will remember the last few locations you've used. 9. Use the ExpressVPN browser extension. If you're using version 6.2, or later, of the ExpressVPN app, you can download and use the ExpressVPN browser extension to remotely control the ExpressVPN app from your browser. The extension is currently available for Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. From your app, click the hamburger menu, select options, then go to the browsers tab. Under Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox, click get extension and follow the on-page instructions. Note, to use the ExpressVPN browser extension, you need to have the ExpressVPN Windows app, version 6.2 or newer, downloaded and activated. You cannot use the ExpressVPN browser extension without the ExpressVPN app 10. Uninstall ExpressVPN app for Windows. Note, the below instructions are for Windows 10. If you are using Windows 7 or 8, please see the instructions for uninstalling programs on Windows 7 and Windows 8. To uninstall the ExpressVPN app, right-click on the Start button and select Programs and Features. If Programs and Features is not directly available by right-clicking the Start button, access it by first clicking on Control Panel and then selecting Programs and Features. Scroll through the list of programs until you locate ExpressVPN. Select ExpressVPN and then click on Install. In the Setup Wizard, click on Install. You will be notified when ExpressVPN is successfully uninstalled. Click Close to exit the Setup Wizard. If you see that ExpressVPN is still listed as an available VPN connection after uninstalling, click the Start button, and then click Run. Only for Windows XP and Vista, or press Windows key and R, for any other Windows OS, to launch the Run command. Type p.cpl on the Run command and then press Enter to go to your Network Connections window. On your Network Connections window, right-click on the one port labeled ExpressVPN. Click Delete. Part 2. Click Choose Location and double-click on the location of your choice to connect. Part 3. Verify that your IP address has been changed via the below page at https colon slash slash www.com slash what hyphen is hyphen my hyphen IP. Part 4, open Kodi and use it as you normally would. For instructions on installing Kodi on Windows, see the below URL at http colon slash slash kodi.wiki slash view slash how hyphen to colon install underscore Kodi underscore for underscore Windows.